Let's talk about Canelo Alvarez versus, yep, Arthur, better BF. Um, now, I know uh, Canelo campaigned at 175, I believe, when he fought Sergey Kovalev. And a lot of people were saying, you know, hey, they don't think Canelo should have been up at 175. He might get knocked out. And he fought Co Sergey Kovalev. And I think Kovalev did very well in that fight. But um, a lot of people think that fight was fake, it was fixed, it was rigged. They said the knockout didn't look realistic. I'm not one to really talk about it. The man won the fight, that's what it is. But now we got this guy called Arthur Better BF, which is like the boogeyman of 175. Now, um, some say he's the most dangerous puncher in the sport right now. One of the most dangerous punchers. Besides, I guess, Deontay Wilder. But the, the problem is with... With, the thing is with better be have is he's not he he's a much more he has that power where it's like both hands and it's like constant sledgehammers i would kind of like uh the way people are saying it i would compare it more to like you see how like foreman had that sled them sledgehammer fist and foreman had no speed and you know what it is with but i watch better be have fights he doesn't have any head movement he's not a technical fighter at all but when he's throwing he's very he, he's slow but the problem is when you see, it doesn't look like those punches hurt but all these fights i've been watching the better be have man and it's like when he hits these dudes man and it, from the way we looking at it we sitting there watching it on tv you were like damn he crumbled him with that punch and it looked like it's not it the punch wasn't heavy he didn't have any it didn't have any back behind it and he still managed to fool these dudes that's telling you something that that's when somebody got that raw power he has that thudding power where he's not he doesn't have speed but when he throws those fucking hands they land and they land so damn heavy the, the, the opponent can't take it that's the problem with uh i see uh, when Can if canelo was to move up again and fight better bf Canelo Alvarez is much more technical, even though Canelo doesn't have the much, he doesn't have footwork. Better Bev has no footwork. Canelo has slightly better footwork than Better Bev, if you want to put it in those terms. But Canelo has definitely better head movement, better upper body movement. Better Bev is, uh, he's like, he's come forward. I see him get hit with some things too. And he has a granite chin, but see, that's what I'm saying. If Canelo ended up fighting this dude, he would, Canelo, he hasn't really, really gotten any knockouts lately. All right, he just got a knockout of Avni Yildirim, which is basic lower tier competition. He steps it up to fight a guy with 15 KOs. All his fights was KOs. Canelo might have a problem. He, he definitely might have a problem with better BF. The way that fight would end up likely looking like, it would be like, it would probably look uh, like how Tony Harrison looked fighting Jamal Charlo in the first fight. It would probably look something like that. If if Better BF hits Canelo and Canelo doesn't feel the power or it doesn't affect Canelo, then it'll look like the way Tony Harrison looked fighting Jamal Charlo in the second fight where he, they would go, he's more in the pocket. It's going to be like that. But listen, if Canelo definitely has a chin, the problem is, do we know how his chin is going to hold up to heavy hitters of, at 175? Uh, Sergey Kovalev, you know what I mean? He killed somebody in the ring before. But the thing is with him, he's, you know, he's over his hill. He's over the hill now. He's he's well, well over his prime. And, you know, he's fizzing out. Better BF is not. So this is where the problem come in at for Canelo Alvarez. Now this this he's definitely if, if they get in the ring, you're gonna see Canelo dancing around a little bit more. He's gonna be definitely be touching him. Canelo, he's gonna touch him. And he's gonna have to get up out of the way, moving stick, moving stick. If if like I said, it's all about if you can take the power. So if he can handle better BF's pro, uh, power, I got Canelo likely outboxing better BF. I can see Canelo outboxing Better BF in that fight. Uh, Better BF is going to have to knock Canelo out. 
to win that fight. I know a lot of people say, oh, Canelo's not going to win. Canelo can outbox Better BF to the cards. Trust me, I, I'm telling you, he could. And Canelo's work rate isn't as, as much as um, Better BF. Better BF is a volume puncher. So this is how I can see that fight going if they were to have a fight. They're gonna get in the ring. They're gonna slug it out. They're gonna. You're gonna see Canelo try to take, see if he can take a shot from, uh, feel his power. It's all about the power. This fight goes. It rely, It's gonna go on all. It's gonna rely on who can take whose power. Without a doubt, I believe. I have no doubt that Arthur Better be a, will take Canelo's power. Canelo hasn't had any real significant knockouts, man. I mean, he beat. What Avni Yildirim stopped him third round, which was expected. Uh, he stopped what Rocky Fielding. Uh, that was what that was the last time he really stopped somebody. Was it Fielding to the body? I'm trying to think if there's any others, but he hasn't really had any significant stoppages, man. Better BF is stopping everybody. So Canelo goes back up to 175. He's gonna have his hands full with Arthur Better BF because he has that sneaky thudding power that Canelo needs to be ready for. Yes, he has a chin, but we would have to find out how much of a chin he has against somebody that hits like that. So, I got Canelo winning that fight if he can take his power. If he can take better via his power, Canelo's going to win that fight uh, from the outside or probably the inside. If he feel he can take it, it's going to be an inside fight. It's risky for Canelo because if the kind of power that better BF has, even if Canelo can take his power, can he take? Can he sustain taking that power over the course of 12 rounds? That's the problem. So realistically speaking, if these two were to fight and Canelo, I'm going to have to put that if in there. If Canelo can take his power and can take it through the cor course of a fight without any, uh, look like no, no kind of wear and tear on him, which I probably doubt, then Canelo will win on the cards. If Canelo can't take his power, which is more realistically speaking than the, than the latter, than, the, than what I just said, if he can't take his power, all the better BF will end up knocking Canelo Alvarez out within seven rounds. So I'm going to speak on the more realistic uh, level here. I don't think Canelo will be able to take his power. And if that's the case, this will probably be Canelo's first knockout. The first time you see Canelo get knocked out will be in this fight. I can see it against Arthur Better BF, seventh round knockout. Get back to me. If this fight is ever made, I'll make a final official prediction. But uh, let me know how you feel about this fight if it ever took place. Get back to me. I'll talk to you guys later.